Good morning, everybody. It's the first day of spooky season. Woohoo! Vaughn here with the Monster Vlog. And we leave for our camping trip tomorrow, so we've got to get all that and all the yard and everything prepped up to be gone for a couple of days. Ten eggs this morning. Forgot to put my apron on, naturally, <laughs> so I'm carrying it all in my sweater. <laughs> hey, girl. What's up with this cat, Tia? A pretty kitty in the camera. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Breakfast is bread with apple butter, bacon, and a mushroom onion mozzarella omelet. And Randy's having a fried spam sandwich with bacon. Oh yeah, and coffee. Okay, so yesterday was our first fire polish, and I'm gonna set the phone down so I can open this. Ooh, it looks like it worked, y'all. Wow. Now we have a little bit of like weirdness going on on like the surface of that one. Oh wow, this is drastically better though, y'all. Oh my gosh, I love it. Randy, you wanna come check this out? What weirdness do we have? <laughs> well, it's like um, maybe an air bubble that I had ground down to. Oh, those are, that's wonderful. I'm glad that we can salvage these. Yep, 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 yep. No more dud boxes for y'all. Well, maybe, <laughs> we'll see. Gosh, those are pretty though. Starting to look a lot like consumerism. October 1st, y'all. Finished doing our grocery run for the camping trip this weekend. And um, it's going to be me, Randy, Pam, Catherine, Izzy, and it's Izzy's friend named Sydney. Uh, but we always call her like Sarah or Sebastian or Stephanie or Susan. <laughs> Um, it's just, it's, Randy and I need to get out more. Alright guys, it's lunchtime. We have two cups of boiled water and some instant mashed potatoes. Dump that on in there. These are the four cheese potatoes. So I think Randy will be pretty happy. And I'm just going to stir that in. We got a rotisserie chicken from the Walmart that I'm pretty excited about. It's garlic flavor and the last of the old grapes. Why are you being study out of Walsworth? We should watch that movie again. I need to I've got the sheet music. I need to learn how to play all those songs on the piano. Oh Ooh, they took right to it. You ready for some potatoes, Randy? Sure. I'm gonna let them sit just a little longer. But that's lunch, y'all. Thank you, Callie, for putting your butthole directly on the camera lens. I've missed you too. Time to put the basil <clears throat> out to dry. I'm gonna have to rinse all the uh, the dirt off of it. Compliments to the chicken.
is today's harvest of basil and I accidentally pulled up some onions so I was going to try to chop those up and I, I think I'm going to dehydrate them but I'm going to have to take the dehydrator to the front porch to do that because it, I don't want it stinking the house up and then three more eggs after harvesting this morning too. So I've also harvested my yard long noodle beans that are kind of dry enough I think. I'm actually just going to use one of these car empty cardboard boxes to uh, shell and dry the beans into. That way if there's any moisture left in them it's not like they're sitting you know, in a plastic bag where they can mildew. This will hopefully help them dry out the rest of the way. So I'm just... There's not a huge density of beans in these plants. Like this is not a plant that I would grow for maybe um, you know, a cooking bean. There are other pole bean varieties that are much more suited for that. They have much bigger beans that are much more closely spaced together. And I'm just going to slide along. I'm actually just going to plop them out onto the table. That's going to be a lot faster than putting each one into the uh, box as we go. And there's another pod. Now the thing that I do like about these yard long noodle beans is how easy they are to harvest. Other than letting them sit on the vine for too long, I don't think I missed any of them because they are hard to miss. So I'm going to keep just doing this. You get about a, about a bean every inch. And I'm going to be saving these for replanting next year. So I think I'm going to try to do these yard long noodle beans. Maybe in with the raspberries or on the chicken enclosure. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Now a lot of these are just, just filthy. The chickens took to demolishing them. So we can just take off the stems like this? Or do you think we should do the whole leaf? Okay. The tips we can leave. Just <laughs> Yes, right. With the tips we can leave intact like that, did you see? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we'll make a pile. So we'll just oh gosh, but see how filthy that is? Mm -hmm. So let's wipe the wash. But uh, they laid on the stems, I guess, today and took their dust baths in the basil. Yes. Ooh. So. That is what happened. You, you saw it? Or yes. Really? Yes. Son of a chicken. <laughs> or son of an egg layer. <laughs> but, uh. Mother puckers. Mother puckers, indeed. <laughs> so let's get to. It smells real nice though, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, basil. Oh! Harlequin beetle. A harlequin bug, I think. It's not a proper beetle. It's a mm. son of an egg layer. How many more hours? Really? Last on. Lord of the Ding Dings. <laughs> the next book is just 16 hours and 40 minutes. In total? Mm hmm. Right, I like. You want to move that to the middle so I can talk? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I thought you were just going to keep watching. <laughs> As a dude. Okay. Whoops.
Now normally I would have used that water on house plants or something of this sort, but I don't know what sort of um, larvae or insects or what might have been in that water, and I really don't want to risk any kind of contamination into my house plants if I can manage it. So I'm just going to give them a two or three times rinsing maybe let them soak for a bit and I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to be doing with these yet. I don't know if I'm going to um, dehydrate them, like just dry the leaves and then crush it up for spices, herbs and spices and cooking, or if I want to puree it and freeze it into ice cubes style for homemade pesto or adding to like pasta or something. Or no, that one sounds pretty nice, because that fresh basil taste might be really nice at the end of the season. I think I'm going to let these sit to soak for a bit. Yeah, we've had our nighttime tea and cookies, and I've gotten the kiln going. I didn't get any footage of what it looks like. I really should have, because I'm testing something out. We'll see how it goes. But, um, we're fixing to head upstairs for the evening, try to find some of that elusive work-life balance. Whatever the heck that is. Our Glowforge is supposed to arrive tomorrow. The we'll replacement see. unit. We'll see. Whew, we'll see. <laughs> sounded as dorky back then as what it does like you know what I mean yeah <laughs> and it's like or does it just sound dorky because we all learned it in like first grade Probably. and we all heard it just as honked on recorders in like third grade music class <laughs> think I'm ever going to recover from this. But she's the sweetest little critter, Randy. Like, how can I disturb her? I need to do yoga. I need to, I don't know, brush my teeth. <laughs> Practice personal hygiene. But instead, I'm going to lay here with a cat in my shirt. So, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Keep on keeping on. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.